Hey YouTube friends, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, I only had a few items that sold last night, so I'll show you those items here in a minute. But I did get a package, and I was pretty happy about that because I ordered some merchandise. This is actually for me to be able to use as giveaways. So I thought I'd show you some of it. Plus, I ordered some other stuff. But I ordered some Arcade Treasure Center hats. They're a little bit squished. They came in a box a little bit squished, but they're, they're good. I like that they're adjustable. But these are Arcade Treasure Center hats. I'll be using those as giveaways in the future. Also ordered a couple of tote bags. These are RK Treasure Center tote bags. So let's look and how they seal. Let me say, let's see how one of those looks. Yeah, that's pretty good looking tote bag. I like that. So I have a couple of tote bags I'll be using as giveaways in the future. So keep watching the videos. You can see those and you'll be able to know when a giveaway comes out. You'll be able to receive one. And I ordered some new cards for me. Uh, these are cards whenever I sell an item, I always stick a card in there. And it says Arcade Treasure Center as the logo, the YouTube logo. And come see our eBay store and thank you with our Instagram. And if you're not following us on Instagram, you should follow us on Instagram because we put a lot of stuff out there on Instagram as well. But I got some new business cards, so I'm pretty happy about that. And I ordered something else, which I really liked. And see how they turned out. Ah uh ha -huh. yeah, they look good. And I ordered a few postcards to try out. These are just blank postcards with the big RK Tre Treasure Center logo. And I actually got these so I could write messages on it because I get a lot of viewer sales. Well, I don't get a lot of viewer sales. Whenever I get viewer sales, I usually take my little uh, card and I'll write a note on the back and sometimes I want to say a little bit more than other than thank you and it's not a lot of room and I don't write real small so I ordered these big postcards so that way I could write something on there and speaking of being able to have a postcard to write something on I did get a viewer sale I sold this Winnie the Pooh cosmetic little case it's really nice it's really cute picked that up at a thrift store this sold for nine dollars and 99 cents plus shipping and I sold this Arcade Treasure Center coffee mug. These are going to Pam. Pam purchased both of these in support of Arcade Treasure Center. And I really appreciate the support and the comments you left. All right, so we're going to come over here to the G shelf. And I sold this item here, which is an item I've had quite a while. Now, I've already got this bubble wrap because I wanted to have it ready to go and shipped out whenever it did sell. So I didn't have to take time to individually wrap all the items inside here. What this is, is a large tin with coffee mugs inside, or tea, tea cups, coffee mugs. This is, a tin is marked Sisters in Concert from 1966 from the Seattle Arena. And I believe the Seattle Arena, I'm not sure the name of it, from Seattle, Washington, and maybe some of y'all do, is changed its original name from 1966 till now. But sister, Sisters in Concert played there in 1966. And... That's what there's representation of with the coffee mugs and it comes with a nice little stand. And this was a really, really good find. Picked this up at a thrift shop, paid $2 for it. This sold for $22 and the buyer paid the shipping. So right here on the East shelf is this box right here. And inside this box is a regular 14 ounce white Starbucks coffee mug. And when I say regular, it's the plain one. It's just white with the green um, mermaid on it and this sold for eight dollars and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping doesn't sound like much but i've learned that regular starbucks mugs that are just white with the green siren on it the green mermaid really doesn't sell for very much so i don't pick any more up so this is my last one and i'm glad it's going out the door now we'll come over here to the n2 bin and i just got an item that sold that i picked up probably about three months ago so it didn't sell very fast but it's really neat this is a Disney Cruise Line photo album. It's got Mickey, and this is the Steamboat Mickey. Um, this is a really nice picture frame. It's brand new, still in the box. Picked it up at the thrift store for about $1.99. This sold for $17.99, and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, we're gonna go in here into the picker bin, and I sold an item out of here, which is a retail arbitrage item. I sold this 
Rawlings softball mask. And when I picked it up, I only paid a dollar for it. And I thought, well, this is going to be something that makes some really good money. Then I listed it, realized they don't aren't really listed for very much. This sold for $14.95, and I forgot to put the shipping on there. So that's another thing that's my fault, but I'm still going to make a little bit, a few dollars off of it, so no problem. All right, so you don't know it, but I actually took a little bit of break. Kim and I have been still working on our van conversion, getting it all fixed up. I'm looking to get that van done. The inside of it's going to be kind of like a camper. The back end of it's going to be a garage, so that, that way we can go around and pick and source for things while we're out touring around the country. So... I'm really looking and excited to get that van done and maybe I'll put a little clip of kind of what we're working on in here. The lights are up. Yeah. We haven't tried them on yet. No, we gotta see what, oh I, yeah. You I still got two more screws to put in. Oh, okay. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. All right, let me put in my two last two screws. Okay. We got the uh, puck lights up. Got our fan up. Now we gotta do is just connect some wiring. There's the fan wiring. Is that, that's some wiring right all over there. <sighs> All right, should we see if a, at least a light comes on? What if the lights didn't work? What if there was no, the LED bulbs Don't weren't working? Don't say that. Don't we should try that. one. Don't say that. Yes, try it. We could easily just connect the ground to the ground, you know, and the red to the red. We know it gonna, works. Look, that's a light. So all we got to do is connect them all and we're going to be good. For all you van conversion people, you know the feeling when you get part of your sealing up with the lights and the fan you just feel like you're on your way but i had a few couple of viewer sales while we were out there working on that van so i came in here so i could do a little bit more recording and the first thing that i sold was this beautiful sterling silver ring in this jewelry box if i can get it open so this is a beautiful beautiful sterling silver ring i mean the cubic zirconios on that are just gorgeous and it's got a bunch of little tiny ones down the side nice engagement type ring this sold for $24.99 it's going to joy joy i really appreciate the purchase uh her and her boyfriend do ebay and i think it's your boyfriend i think you told me it was your boyfriend so i really appreciate the purchase and i hope that your ebay business is going very good so thank you joy also sold another rk treasure center coffee mug this is going out to david david didn't leave a message so i'm only assuming that he is a watcher of the channel and just didn't leave a message so david thank you very much for the purchase i really appreciate it and i had to look over at the computer i thought i only sold one but i actually sold two rk treasure center coffee mugs and this rk treasure center mug is going out to freddie freddie's been a supporter of the channel and he's purchased before and i think he purchased a coffee mug before if i remember right might have even won one i can't remember i lose track of those things but thank you, Freddie, very much for the support. I appreciate it. And every time I sell an RK Treasure Center coffee mug, I always throw in a couple of RK Treasure Center stickers to go with it. So thank you very much. I appreciate the business. So I went ahead and pulled this next item, and it's going to be a little reflective in the light, so I apologize about that, but I'll show a picture. This is a pair of Nike Hyperdunk shoes. They're actually size 16. They're very, very big shoes, but they're an almost... I won't say brand new, but they are very little worn. Excellent, excellent shoes. Uh, had these for probably about a month before I remembered I had them and listed them. And it probably took about another three weeks to sell after I list them. And these sold for, which I can't remember, what did they sell for? These sold for $49.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. So after I went to the post office the last time, I went by the thrift shop, just stopped in for a minute. Well, I can't say a minute, probably about 20, 30 minutes. While I was in there, I found 24 individually still sealed wrapped TDK 60 cassette tapes. And whenever I find these, uh, I try to pick them up at a good price. I managed to pick them up. They had all, they had 24 of these listed for $5.99. I picked them up and I listed them. I listed them in packs of 12, only had two. One person bought both of them and they got a deal because I gave a discount of 15% if they bought both of them and they did and they paid $40.72 for both of them. So that was a really good find and a really good flip. Keep an eye out for good sealed brand new cassette tapes. They're still worth a lot of money. Just when I thought I was completely done, I got everything wrapped up. I had an auction to end during the time I was wrapping that up. So I had one more item sell 
and that's these pair of chucks converse shoes i had these on auction the prices of these things were all over the place pretty good prices but there's something unique about them and i don't know if you can see there's a zipper about there but i'll take them out so i can show them these are some really nice black converse chuck shoe boots those are some really tall converse shoes really good found these at a thrift store I think I paid $9.99 for them, but just because I knew that those were going to be unique and something different, I thought I would take a gamble on it. And sure enough, they went for auction and they kept going higher and higher and higher. And these things sold for $120 and the buyer paid the shipping. So happy to get those sold. So now I can go ahead and wrap those up and get them out the door. Awesome sale, surprising sale. Auctions sometimes are the way to go. All right, so there really wasn't much to this video. It's just a what's sold video, but don't check out yet because I wanted to tell you and give you an announcement. I think back in December, we said that we were gonna be starting a second channel and I'm not ready to tell you that quite yet. The anticipation has gotta still keep on building, right? No, I just haven't been able to be ready to announce it. Kim and I are still working on the van. And in that channel, when I do announce it, it's going to have a playlist of the van conversion, if anybody's interested in watching the van conversion. And it's also going to have a playlist where we start going around and we travel uh, the state of Texas. We go to cities around us and we're going to travel the United States in the future, soon in the future. And we're going to start traveling around and picking stuff up. That's why we're doing the van conversion, so that that way we can be able to pick stuff up while we're outsourcing. So yes, that name of that channel is coming. I'm not ready to announce it yet. I got to finalize it, get it all put up on YouTube, get it all ready. And we also did come up with a name. We had a lot of people give us ideas for a name for our van. I really appreciate all the ideas that we got. So we do have a van name picked out and we're going to announce the name of that channel. So stay tuned for that. Keep watching. Also, the other thing I want to talk about is since we're trying to work on the van, we've had a lot of good days lately. So you probably haven't seen me for about a week since I put out my last video. Usually I try to get at least two videos out a week to three. So I think probably off and on for at least for a little while. Um, keep an eye out on Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm going to try to put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Now, obviously, the day I put this video out is not a Wednesday or a Sunday, but that's why I want to tell you. So starting, I think, if you're watching this video, as soon as I put it out, I think starting on this following Sunday, we're going to skip it. Maybe I'll put one out. And But following Wednesday, we're going to try to do Wednesdays and Sundays. So just keep watching. Watch all the time. Ring that little notification bell on the channel so that that way when we do put out a video, you don't miss it in case it's not a Wednesday or Sunday. But that's what we're looking for. So Central Time, probably around 6 o'clock is when we're going to try to put out our videos on Wednesdays and Sundays so that that way we can keep working on the van. It's enough of me rambling. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody for stopping by. If you're interested in watching those van conversions, like I said, get ready to subscribe to the other channel when I announce it. And if you just want to watch some other picking and sourcing around and going around the United States, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that notification bell. If you like this kind of videos, you like today's video, give me a thumb up. Tell me you liked it. If you didn't, it's okay. I appreciate everybody stopping by. All the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone else to stop by, to everybody that's watching and all the viewers, take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.